And next part, yesterday we have installed ESXi operating system as well, and we connected to the ESXi host directly using 240 IP, and we have tested. Now, today we'll try to install the vCenter. yesterday i have given some task right anyone found the answers for it if found like chat here type your answers so before we perform any task like we need to know like what are the minimum requirements so for vcenter installation what are all the things that we need we want to install vcenter version 6.7 we, ESXi we have installed 6.5. So vCenter we will try to install 6.7. Okay. So for that we need to download the software first thing. Download VC 6.7 OVA or OVF from the VMware website. So this vCenter application we don't need to build a machine and install the application. VMware itself prepared this machine application. The fifth method we have discussed, right? OVA or OVF method. VMware made this recent application, same as OVA, OVF available. We can download from the VMware website. Okay. So that should be downloaded. And second part, we need to have one IP address. IP address and name. We have to decide one IP address and a name. So here we are deciding because in real time separate team will give the IP address. In our case, we don't have separate network team to provide IP addresses. We will only take. So I am deciding 192.168.1.200 is already used. So I'll, I'll use 210. 210 has vCenter IP. Okay. And its name is, I'm deciding it as vc01.svitlab.net, full name. It's called full name, okay, FQDN, fully qualified domain name. It, so we will discuss about that completely later during DNS topic. There is a separate uh, topic during Windows uh, topics, okay, we will discuss about it. It's a full name, how I wanted the vCenter in our lab okay and domain name that we know that svit lab .net is our domain name dns server ip what is the dns server in our lab in our lab it is 192.168.1.150 this much information we need so last two parts you don't need to worry we have separate topics about this dns and also the domain Okay, it will take a half an hour domain and a half an hour DNS. We will discuss later. As of now, if you know this much information, is enough. So we are ready with the information. And we need to see like whether vCenter 6.5 is available here or not. In my laptop, it is not there. I'll show you how to download from VM. Okay, now we can download. I think personal account also works. Let's see. No. So we'll see like if we have this uh, file downloaded already. I think our guys have installed as V center is not our here. There is power outage now. We can't test it. Okay. So we have already one ESX machine here, right? So this is the physical server. 
with ESXi installed on it. It is having an IP address of 192.168.240. The same network. This is network switch. The server is connected here. Admin is sitting here. So we have downloaded PC 6.7 ISO as well. Using, there are two ways. One is using OVA file or ISO also. Two ways as possible. ISO also. So using ISO also, we can install. Or using OVA also, we can install. So here, when you run this ISO installer, it will ask where you want to deploy the virtual machine. So you have to select this ESXi host IP address, username and password so that a virtual machine will be automatically installed here. When you deploy this OVA from here to here, or you can run the ISO installer also. It will automatically create a virtual machine. What will be there inside this virtual machine? When it is appliance, what OS it will be there? Windows or Linux? Linux OS plus and what application will be there in our case here? vCenter. vCenter application will be there and version 6.7. Both together will be there. Okay. This is a virtual machine with vCenter of Linux OS and vCenter application installed together. You don't need to install the application. It will be there by default. From remote, can you hear me and see my screen as well? Fine. So while deploying from this ISO or OVA, we have to enter this information. So we have to keep this information ready before you start the installation. Fine. And also here we need to do one thing with for this name and IP we need to create DNS record as well. We'll discuss again. This is a part of DNS. Okay, DNS topic. For this name and IP we have to. To test it, like our lab is not available, so we have to wait for some time. Okay. Meanwhile, if you have any questions, let me know.
So when you run the installer, it first it will ask where you want to deploy this uh, virtual machine, that appliance. So we have to enter this ESX IP address, username and password. Then class we center VM. Here we are deploying a VM, right? That VM details we have to enter like name, IP, subnet mask, gateway, DNS. This information we have to enter here. So once you enter that first stage, it can happen in two stages. First stage, deploy vCenter virtual machine with the Linux OS and we see application in it. Okay. Second stage, on figure, we center application. In the second stage, we have to select vCenter application configuration. VC application configuration involves local domain administrator. I can say username and password. Before that, confirm the IP configuration provided in the stage, stage one, then select local domain, username and password. So further, we'll discuss what is that local domain. Once you do this, it will take 20 minutes to configure this application. First one will take 20, 25 minutes. Second one also will take 20, 25 minutes to complete. First stage, it will automatically first to deploy one virtual machine. It will have Linux OS plus application also inside in it. But application is not yet configured. So we have to give one our password, our network address. It's a ready-made application, right? In our network, we have to enter the IP network address, which we can connect from within our network. And we have to provide one recent application password also center application password that we do in the second stage so it will take 25 minutes to deploy vm and 25 minutes to configure the application so our work will be simple like we have to enter the details which we have collected here first name ip address domain name dns server right this information we will configure during the first phase it will automatically will be populated in the second phase during the application configuration first step it will show that information which we have entered in stage one. Okay, so you have to make sure everything is correct, exactly how we have provided. Then proceed next and give the recent application username and password. That's it. It will take 25 minutes to complete everything, and then vCenter will be ready with the IP address that we have provided 192.168.1.210. And also with the name. So from our laptop again, once that second part, second stage is completed, from here open a web browser and access this 210 or this VC01 name. It will automatically connect and it will show the vCenter interface as we connect normally. So vCenter is down now because of power outage. We'll see that in installation later. This is the theory part about the vCenter installation. Okay, so at the lab part, we will see one. And next 30, minute, 30 minutes also will not be enough to complete this. Okay, if anyone has any questions from this page or yesterday's ESXi installation, we can discuss now.
or else during the next class i'll show you this how to install this vcenter meanwhile you be ready with this information at least okay and we will provide this information you don't need to worry at this stage so how to how to get this ip address name this this one this one will be common okay these two will be common for all the people and these two will vary i'll tell you how to select this information and also how to create the dns records okay during the lab we will do this one and then proceed with the vcenter installation anyone has questions any other questions until now whatever the topics we covered right any question for until today we can discuss because here there is power outage we can't do much further that's why venkat did you there no hey see you have any question anything like even up beyond these to topics which we cover Can you hear me? Remote people. 